Okay, back on the Sportsmax Zone. Now, last week, the West Indies Creed Board President Dave Cameron was on the zone here talking about um, going up for re-election in the March AGM at the West Indies Cricket Board. That's on the 7th of March. But our next guest on the phone wants Cameron out. He's Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez. Uh, Dr. Gonzalez, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. Always great to have you on our show. Yes, all the best to you and um, Simon, Lance, and um, the people of Jamaica and people all over the Caribbean and the world who look at this fantastic program. Thank you very much, Doc. <laughs> now, your view, as you're quoted, Cameron is poor and embarrassing, and he needs to be axed or he needs to resign as head of the regional entity. That's West Indies Cricket as the chief administrator. Um, can you develop on that for us? Yes. Um, first of all, um, though Dave Cameron, a person whom I, I like, I mean, he's, he's very personable. I think that on critical issues, he has let us down in the region with highly inadequate leadership of West Indies cricket. First of all, there was a promise of a new dispensation, and then what did we have? We have him sending players off to India on a tour without giving them contracts before they went, and then when they got their contracts, there was a substantial diminution in their emoluments. Now, you wouldn't hire a non-professional person in that manner, much less to international sports personalities and professionals. Secondly, he showed indifference, negligence in his failure and or refusal to engage Mr. Bravo, uh, referring him to the Players Association. Now, there was not a, a contract between the Players Association and the West Indies Cricket Board. There's a, there are individual sets of contracts. What the West Indies Cricket Board and WIPA would have put together is what amounts to a collective bargaining agreement, which has no legal force. That is the context, the backdrop for the individual contracts, which are legally binding. And you, you, you're telling Bravo that you don't want to engage him. He must talk to Weeper and that you're only talking to Weeper. That shows an entirely um, naive and misconceived approach to management and industrial relations. Thirdly, I think that we had from him suboptimal leadership in his engagement with the BCCI on this matter from the very beginning. I don't know if persons are aware that as early as the, 7th, the 16th of October last year, just before the first um, game, the first one day, um, he was communicating, Mr. Cameron, that is, was communicating to the people in India and telling them, look, uh, you know, I understand they have, uh, the, the, the players are having this problem. Um, let them do what they want to do, and uh, we can send you a replacement team, and we sort out whatever problem um, arises later. That's an absolutely cavalier approach to addressing such an important problem, and set the tone, really, for the, the, the stance of the, the BCCI in relation to him and the West Indies board. And finally, and the least of my complaints, but an important one nevertheless, has to do with the breach of the undertaking given solemnly at Hyatt um, last year regarding non-victimization of players on the, to, to, to go to South Africa. That is to say, non-victimization of any from the Indian, India 14. But Prime Minister, the question then is, was it not that fourth 
um, element that you mentioned, which resulted in your public call for Cameron to move on, no, because no, 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 no. following your meetings with the board, you, you, you made no such suggestion that the, the president should step aside. No, 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 no. The point about it is this. <coughs> the, I have given all of these matters. Those, I've always held a consistent position on those things. And at the meeting, I, in Trinidad, I raised all those issues. And, uh, and uh, I have found that in his handling, even at that Trinidad meeting, I was underwhelmed in the manner in which he was handling the, 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 the meeting. And uh, as an experienced man, I was a little, more than a little concerned. And, and, uh, and that gave me an insight um, for further reflection. Mm -hmm. You've said, you've said, Dr. Gonzalez, that you hope the respective boards and the territories tell him to take a break and come back at a later date, perhaps with a more mature and maybe renewed skills of, of leadership. You're anticipating that that is a possibility or you're urging the regional uh, administrators to take that route when the AGM comes up on March 7? Yes, I, I look. I began by saying that I have no beef with Dave Cameron as an individual. I find him to be very personable, and I'm sure that he has an interest in seeing that West Indies cricket develops. But we are at a junction now where we need someone who can lead us in West Indies cricket through this particularly challenging period. And what we are having is just a continuation of rifts and divisions and confusion. I mean, I mean it, it's, it's, it has become an embarrassment to the entire region. Are, are you comfortable, Prime Minister, with what is clearly a precedent here, um, that prior to a, a general election in the, in the West Indies Cricket Board, that you are seeking to influence the members of the board to select a new candidate? You are a sports journalist. You can do that. I'm a cricket lover. Why can't I do that? <laughs> you are also a, an elected official yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. That is true. And that should make it all the more reason why I should speak out. But the point is this. Um, I'm a cricket lover. I understand the importance of West Indies cricket to our region. Look, guys, you know, you look at the the history of sport in the 20th century. You have the following areas or countries which have dominated a sport for 15 years or more. Mm -hmm. Russia, the Soviet Union in relation to, to ice hockey. Cuba with amateur boxing at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, East Africa with... Um, Kenya and, and Ethiopia with long distance running. And the West Indies in cricket, not even Brazil has dominated world football for 15 years unbroken. All right. so, and of all of those, we are only five and a half, six million people. Ethiopia is 80 million. Kenya is 30 odd million. Russia is 120 million, and the Soviet Union was, was, was um, mm -hmm. much more. Um, it's a remarkable story. Cuba, of course, is 10 million. All right. The story is absolutely remarkable for Cuba and, 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 the, and the West Indies, All right. their respective sports. Prime Minister, I'm going to ask you to hold the line. We have to take a short break here on sure. the zone. We'll be coming back with uh, the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines.